Since time immemorial, glamour has been one of those things that people just love to show off. They want to look cool when they're fighting bad guys, they want to look badass, and they want to look the best they can while they're playing the game. Well, since the inception of Destiny 1, one of the things that people have always been asking for throughout the life cycle of Destiny 1 and Destiny 2 is a common feature that all MMOs have. And considering Luke Smith in his recent update said that, you know, this game is an MMO, there I've said it, he said it. Well, now we finally have Transmog in Destiny 2. But the problem is, did they implement it correctly? Now, if you look at other MMOs, Transmog is one of those things where it's just, you know, a bypassal of the game. In Final Fantasy XIV, for example, the MMO that I play, you go mining for two items. Both of them are 100% dropped. So every mine you do, you pick up an item. If you pick up 20 of each, you'll have 20 or 30 of the actual prisms that you require in order to craft the item. Bear in mind, the gathering of 20 of those items each will probably take you around five minutes there's really no time investment for this they've made it as simple as possible on top of this you can actually go to the market board and actually buy it from other players who have actually taken the time to do it already and it's dirt cheap or you can actually go to an npc vendor and buy it from the vendor as well if you don't want to go and craft it yourself there's multiple ways of doing this but it's all done with in-game currency there is no real money involved in this however destiny has finally embraced the transmog you know culture it's been something we've been wanting for a long time and it's finally here so massive kudos to destiny massive kudos to bungie for finally making this happen because it's been a most warranted thing because people just want to look cool however what they've gone and done at the same time is colossally screwed it up Yes, you've heard that right. This is probably the biggest mess in the world. And guys, please, when they reverse the decision, if they reverse it, because I don't think they will, but if they do reverse it, don't give them props for reversing the decision. Because all they've done here is turned around and just tried to fleece off their own community. That is exactly what they've done here. So don't turn around any of you white knights and say, oh, well, at least they were listening and they've reversed the decision. No, that's bollocks. Because what they've done here, if they do reverse it for whatever reason, is quite simple. What they've done here is try to see how far they can push the community to see how much they can rip you off because Bungie is the new Activision. There is no difference between the two. Make no mistake, since the split from Activision, in fact, I would go further. Bungie's actually greedier than Activision. They are so greedy right now and they have continually grown with greed. And the fact that they could turn around and look at their community, release a blog update like this is utterly disgraceful. It's a slap in the face to every single Bungie fan, every single Destiny fan, because this has been one of the most wanted features in Destiny and to deliver it in this state is just pure disgusting. So let's go through what you need to do. Right now in Destiny 2, you need to defeat enemies to earn Sim strand then you need to take that Sim strand and do countless boring ass bounties to get synth cord but then you have to convert that synth cord into loom in the tower to get synth with this isn't gonna be a five second process by the way this is actually a lengthy process so how do we get all this stuff oh but there is a step four use the synth with to convert an unlocked armor appearance legendary quality or lower from collections into a universal thing so Let's see, Vanguard. Complete playlist strikes using specific subclass or accumulate points in Nightfall Strikes. Or if you're in Curisable, capture zones in Crucible Control Matches or complete Crucible Matches and defeat opponents using specific damage types as a team. Good luck with that. Gambit, send and defeat blockers and get no one plays Gambit. Destinations, defeat nightmares on any destination or in nightmare hunts. Are they even still a thing? Defeat bosses while defending the blind well within the dreaming city. I guess they needed to find a way to get you back in there. Finally, raids and dungeons. Complete the final encounter of any raid or dungeon or generate orbs of power in raids or dungeons. And this will generate the actual synth weave, I believe it was. Let's go up and see synth strand. This will give you the synth strand. Now, if you pick up the wrong bounty, some of the Sif strands will be refunded if you choose to abandon it, but not the full amount. Because if you made that mistake, that's on you. 
So think carefully before abandoning. So how many of these can you earn? Don't forget in an MMO like Luke Smith says this is, you can make as many as you like, right? I can, you know, I change my glamour in 14 almost every other week because I can and because I want to. If I pick up something cool, I change to it. If I see something nice, I change to it. If I'm doing an event and it's the event time and I want to, you know, join in with the festivities, I glamour that onto my set. I've got zero limitations. But wait, not here. How many of these can you earn? Players can earn up to 10 sin free per class per season. That means you can customize your character twice a season, twice. If you've customized it once, if you've glamored the whole set and you don't like it, well, tough luck, buddy. You get one chance more. And after that, you have to wait till next season. But don't worry, man, season of the redacted, whatever it's going to be, will give you 20. So you'll get four attempts next season. But after the next season, it'll go back down to two per season. Hold up though, there is a silver lining here. There is a very, very cool silver lining and it's right here, your saving grace. Eververse will also offer Synthweave templates for direct purchase through the Guardian appearance screen. Players may either purchase a single Synthweave or may purchase a five piece bundle. They've even been generous to give you a reference of how much of a discount you're getting. 200 silver of a discount compared to, you know, what it would normally cost for a universal armor ornament. You can buy these and use them as many times as you want from what I'm seeing here. There is no restrictions to how many times you can go to Eververse, pay your hard earned cash and buy those templates to glammy your guardian. How do you feel about that guardians? How do you feel about that? They have basically monetized this glamour system. This is probably the lowest I've ever seen Bungie drop. I don't think I've ever seen anyone, any company out there monetize their game as much as Bungie have. I don't even think this is a game anymore. This is almost like an entertainment store. You walk in just to see what you can, but there's more items in the shop than there is items in the game. But that aside, you know, the fact that they've monetized synth we've and you can, you know, use it as many times as you want. It's disgraceful. It's absolutely disgraceful. And I'm sorry. No, you don't give them a, you know, a silver lining for reversing this decision if they do. No, you don't, because they have clearly done this on purpose to see how much they can rip you off, how much they can fleece you. It's, it's so bad. I mean, I stopped playing Destiny for a while. I jump into, I, I was jumping into it every so often because it was a game that really interested me. But decisions like this from Bungie just have pushed me away further and further. And it's just so tone deaf. Why would you finally give something the community has wanted for so long and then monetize the living shit out of it? Let's talk about shaders. They've increased the price of shaders as well with Bright Dust. Why? The economy was perfectly fine. There was no reason to do this, but they're doing this because they want to force you to go to Eververse. Their greed never stops. You know what? I'm pretty much done here. This is pretty awful. You've got your also spicy ramen rewards. This is pretty much the prime rewards that you'll get if you've got prime. If you've got Twitch Prime, you get the spicy ramen exotic. Emo, you get Ikora's Resolve Ship, Future Perfect Shell, and Jagged Darkson Legendary Sparrow. But my God, how, I mean, who inside Bungie sat there and thought this was a good idea? I mean, it, it, it blows my mind, guys. It absolutely blows my mind. And by the way, before anyone says, oh, but Chaos to Bright Dust increase isn't that much. They'll be increasing the cost from 40 Bright Dust to 300 Bright Dust. This is after they've actually crippled the amount of Bright Dust that you can actually earn at any given time. You don't have those, you know, M M you don't have those Engrams dropping every level up anymore where you can just go get, see what that is 
and break it and earn your brightness. No, 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 you don't have that anymore. So not only have they crippled the brightness, now they've, that's almost an eight times increase in actual price. I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. You tell me guys, you tell me. But yeah, guys, I mean, to monetize, just, I don't know, man. This just, this just, this just breathes desperation, tone deaf, it's complete stupidness. I, I really, I mean, I hope they do reverse the decision because this really is a disgrace. But even if they do this, you know, reverse the decision, don't let them off. Those of you that are still actively supporting this game, do not let them off because you know, they don't deserve it. The fact that they even attempted something like this tells, you know, you know, should tell you that they don't deserve your forgiveness. What they need, to, what they do deserve is your accountability and your views. And, you know, you should make it yourselves heard that you do not want to be disrespected this way. Have some self-respect. Don't accept this type of bullshit. Just, you know, you 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 know, you're paying with your money. You bought the game, you bought the expansions, you bought everything else, and now they're trying to fleece you with even more money for a feature that should be free in the game. This should be 100% free without any grind, but they're adding the grind, but they're making the grind so bad, so bad, so bad, that it's forcing you to go to the store because those people that don't want to do that grind have no choice if they want to glamour their set. So just have some self-respect and don't give them a clear pass. Even you white nice, even you cannot defend this. This is complete and utter trash. Right, rant over. Until the next time guys, stay safe and remain legend. Thanks so much for watching my video. If you look over to the left, you'll find a video that I'm recommending to you that I think you might actually enjoy. On the right, you'll see a video that is recommended by YouTube. I really do hope you enjoyed the video and until the next one, remember to always remain legend.